Hi, I'm Andy Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors Legal Hotline lawyer. And today's video is the first in a new series entitled Mistaken Identity, Forms Version. Because what we're gonna talk about in this video series is forms that brokers often confuse one for the other and use incorrectly. And when you use a form that's not intended for that purpose, or let me say it differently, when you fail to use the form that was created for the purpose, you, number one, uh, fail to rise to the standard of care of a lawyer when you're engaged in the practice of law because one of the elements of practicing law that you are authorized to do under your real estate broker's license is select the forms to use. But when you select the forms to use, you're held to the standard of care of a lawyer. So if you pick the wrong form, you've already got a problem with the drafting that hasn't even yet happened. And then of course, you're held to the standard of care of a lawyer when you draft that form. We're not talking today about drafting, we're talking only about selecting the form. It is critical that you select the correct form for the purpose that you're trying to accomplish. So let's start with an example that will easily explain what we're talking about. Form 35, the inspection contingency, uh, will require buyer's broker to draft a response for buyer for delivery to seller. And buyer may you know, terminate the transaction under the inspection contingency or ask for modifications or repairs. And there's other things that buyer could do under that inspection contingency. But what we really wanna focus, focus on today is the buyer who's asking for uh, modifications or repairs. The form that is intended for that drafting purpose is Form 35R. Too often, brokers will use, instead of Form 35R, they'll use a Form 34. Now, let's set aside one thing to begin with. It is perfectly adequate for you to, to start with a Form 35R, but not have sufficient space on the Form 35R to write all that needs to be written. So instead you write C attached form 34, and then you draft the substance of your provisions on that attached form 34. But you have to start with the form 35R in this context when what you're doing is drafting a response to the buyer's inspection contingency. Here's why. <clears throat> when buyer submits their request for modifications or repairs, it is critical to buyer that they trigger the three-day negotiation periods that are established under Form 35, the inspection contingency. Form 35 establishes that when buyer delivers their uh, inspection request, their request for modifications or repairs, even if they deliver it on the final day of their inspection contingency, Form 35 says that they trigger a three-day negotiation period, if you will, for seller to respond back to the buyer. And then if seller doesn't agree to make all the repairs that buyer has requested, Form 35 goes on to say that buyer then has another three days to decide what they're gonna do in response to seller's counter offer. The, if, buy, if buyer broker drafts buyer's request for modifications or repairs on a Form 34, and they just, buy, buyer broker just starts writing what it is that buyer wants the seller to do, and delivers that Form 34 to the listing broker, all that buyer has done is provide seller with an addendum, uh, presumably requesting um, a modification to the contract, but it's not tied in any way to buyer's inspection contingency. So if it's not tied to buyer's inspection contingency, if it doesn't use the language from Form 35, uh, explaining that when buyer makes a request for modifications and repairs, modifications or repairs, I think, then buyer has this negotiation time period going back and forth. If we don't have that triggering language, then has buyer in fact secured the negotiation time period? Or at 9 p.m. on that final day of the inspection contingency, has buyer simply waived the inspection contingency. I think that the latter is incredibly likely as an outcome. So buyer broker, by failing to use the Form 35R and using a Form 34 instead, it is entirely possible 
that you have created a scenario where your buyer's inspection contingency expires without any modifications from seller when what the buyer thought was happening was that the buyer was setting up a negotiation period under the form 35 and the only reason there was a failure buyer brokers because you picked the wrong form what about from seller's perspective let's say that happens let's say that the form 34 gets delivered with a list of repairs let's say it gets delivered on day eight of a 10-day inspection contingency and let's say seller agrees seller agrees to all the repairs that are requested sends it back to buyer broker and then a day later buyer broker by i'm sorry buyer asks for a new roof and and seller and listing broker say what do you mean the inspection contingency is resolved and buyer says no you just agreed to make modifications to the contract but there was nothing in that form 34 that said from buyer to seller hey seller if you agree to make all of the repairs that i'm requesting then my inspection contingency is satisfied that language is embedded in the form 35r of course it's not in the form 34. buyer brokers and listing brokers it is absolutely critical that the buyer's inspection contingency negotiations be set forth on the form 35r form 34 is not a substitute for form 35r when you use it it is a case of mistaken identity in forms land do not let that happen if you have any questions on this or anything else send an send a question to me by logging into the legal hotline at warealtor.org thank you for being a washington realtors member